I know you've seen this word, but you might not know how to use it. Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you a simple way to start using the word weather. First of all, yes, the pronunciation of weather, as in, wow, the weather is lovely today, it's so sunny and bright, is exactly the same as weather. The same pronunciation for weather, as in the sun, you know, the day, and weather, as in the word I'm teaching you today. So you might have heard, I think you probably have heard the word weather, and you might be thinking, mm, don't understand it, don't know how to use this, it sounds like a difficult word to use, but it's not. So listen to this, right? Weather and if are practically the same word. So in terms of meaning, whether and if are very, very close. There is a difference in the way you're going to use them. We're not going to go into crazy grammar. No way. I'm just going to give you some practical ways to start using weather. Because I'm a firm believer that if you're learning in a very simple way, you can insert that into your vocabulary. And the moment you do that, you begin to open up to this word and then you actually learn how to use it in a more complex way. So let's go easy, not too much grammar, try to keep it simple, okay? Listen to this. When you use weather, and a lot of the time when you use if, you're giving the idea that you don't know if it's yes or no, if it's yes as in yes this will happen or no as in not gonna happen. So for example, I don't know whether we are going. If you say to me, are you coming to the party tomorrow? I will say to you, nah, I don't know whether we're going. I don't know whether we're going means I don't know if we are going, yes, or not. But you don't need to say, I don't know whether we're going or not. You don't need to say or not. You can, but you don't need to because it's implied that you're, you don't know. So I don't know whether we're going or not, or I don't know whether we're going. And yes, you could say, I don't know if we are going. In this case, you could choose if or whether. My suggestion to you is that you begin to use whether. Don't, it's a bad idea. Don't take the easy way out and say to yourself, eh, they're the same, I'm just gonna use if, because I know that one. It's a bad idea, because then when you do that, you're never forcing yourself to, you know, make your vocabulary better and improve your communication as a whole. So don't do that, okay? Make sure that you try to use whether, even though you are technically more comfortable using if. When you think about the word if, okay, if is, is a condition, isn't it? So if you want, I can do this for you. If you want, there is a condition there. I don't know if you want. If you want, I can do this for you. You cannot say whether you want, I can do this for you. No way. You say if you want, I can do this for you. So they are different words. Be careful with thinking, ah, they're the same, I'm just gonna use whether for everything, I'm never gonna use if again, no. The idea is not for you to replace if with whether, what does that mean? The idea is not for you to say bye bye if, you're too simple, I'm just gonna use whether all the time, no. The idea is for you to be able to use both because sometimes they have a different purpose in your sentence, in your life. I'll go, means I will go. I'll go whether it's sunny or not. I'll go whether it's sunny or not. But you could say, I'll go if it's sunny or not. No problem. But in this case, because th there is this idea that it could be sunny, but it could also not be sunny. Yes, no, you know, two, two ideas here, two things. Then, then I would probably be more inclined to use weather because to me it's very natural to use weather when there is this idea of yes or no you know so I, I don't know whether I should stay I don't know whether I should stay should I stay or not 
uh, I don't know whether I should stay. Now I'm going to give you a very good tip, okay, for you to use whether when you make a call in English, okay. Supposedly you want to go to this specific shop, you're traveling or you live abroad and you want to go to this specific shop and you want to know if they're going to be open on Sunday because you don't know. So yes, you could just check the website, but because you want to practice your English, you're going to pick up the phone and make a call and you would say this. Hi there, I was wondering whether you're open on Sundays. I was wondering, I'm thinking, I was wondering whether you're open on Sundays. Whether you're open on Sundays means I was wondering if you're opening on Sundays or not. Yes or no? So you say whether. So it's actually a very simple word to use. There is always this idea of yes or no. You can just say your sentence and it will be implied that you're saying or not. Okay, so a very important thing for you to do from now on, when you're watching stuff in English, listen to the sentences. Make some notes from those sentences so that you can begin to, to understand how to use the word weather. And when, when this happens, you will be able to start using it yourself too. I hope it's been useful. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.